Well, the, the desert grows on you and it's uh, fabulous in the spring. The spring bloom is, is the most dramatic change of uh, season uh, of any of the kind of ecosystems in the U.S. probably. From brown to green to color all within a month. This year was a above average year, it was great. We brought people out on a field trip from all over the world. Everywhere we went in the desert, we found 15 or 20 species of wildflowers growing. There was just a super abundance just, just a month ago out here when things were a little bit fresher. You just think every time you go around the corner, you're walking up a wash, you wonder what's gonna be around the next corner. Might there be a Gila monster walking along or a tortoise or some kind of a snake or you just never know what you're gonna find and so it makes it really fun to be out here when it's, when it's reasonable to walk around in the spring. These desert adapted plants and animals may hold some keys to human survival in a rapidly warming world. The unique genetic makeup of desert plants and animals is a sort of resource for the future, potentially crucial for developing new crops, livestock, and medicines as our climate warms. In the Mojave, over the next 50 to 100 years, temperatures are expected to rise between 5 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainfall is expected to decrease. Will temperatures in some places be greater than tortoises or their eggs can tolerate? What will happen to the plants making up their diet? How will tortoise habitat change? Science is the starting point for addressing these questions. There is already a foundation of scientific knowledge to build on. Tools such as the habitat model can help forecast some effects of climate change while guiding management of habitat and species. Mounting threats to the tortoise now include invasive plants, disease, wildfires, roads, ravens, coyotes, off-road vehicles, other predators, and now climate change. The question remains, can the tortoise population stabilize and thrive? People know about the tortoise, they care about the tortoise, and I think that one thing uh, may be the, the biggest thing that, that helps turn it around. And so we've got to have people on our team and people that want to help and, and people that care. And I think that's coming around and that's a big positive thing. But in fact, we're, we're dealing with 60 million years of evolution here. Desert tortoises have been around a very, very long time and people revere them for that reason. Uh, the public, the general public, wants to know that we've got tortoises on a landscape that are not just been put there for their viewing, but that are existing out there in a natural habitat uh, on their own. Humans collectively have had a big negative impact on desert tortoise habitat, but people individually can make a big positive difference too. If you see a tortoise in the wild, look at it, take its picture, see what it's doing. Uh, basically, it's something to appreciate, but not to mess with. But it is good to take a good look, so you really can understand the essence of tortoise, half of which is pulling its head in its shell and staying like that for an hour. <laughs> Before dawn, the scientist's work begins. Science is critical to desert tortoise recovery because there's a lot of uncertainties in how all the numerous threats that face the tortoise interact and, and affect tortoise populations. Without science, we wouldn't be able to sort any of that out and anything that we did on the ground would just be a crapshoot. I find the tortoise to be very fascinating because it seems like such a, a meek species but has been able to survive all these years out in the desert. And, and I think more and more as, as we're facing uh, bigger and bigger threats, uh, we need to use whatever science we can to understand how these animals are actually responding. The tortoise tells us so much about the health of the desert. It's a very long-lived animal. It's a sentinel of the well-being of our environment. 
And for that reason alone, I think we should be very concerned about its well-being and that it thrives. Building on our knowledge of the tortoise, its habitat and threats to its existence remains a key to Mojave Desert tortoise survival into the future.